Uh, today we are speaking about uh, education in Ireland. Uh, to start off with, uh, Ireland is one of, um, if, you're, if you've seen the map, Ireland is a very small part of what used to be the bigger uh, area of United Kingdom. Uh, we are talking particularly about the Republic of Ireland, a separate part other than the United Kingdom. It is a smaller island and is considered as one of the uh, hubs to connect to various parts of Europe today. Um, it's about a 40 minute uh, distance from London and uh, has uh, a very scenic green and clean environment. Uh, if, if any of you have watched uh, quite a few movies, Ireland has come into it now. Uh, to discuss about the, um, uh, the, the locality and uh, the, geographical, the geographic, geography of Ireland, uh, we have, uh, if you see, about 33% of the entire population of Ireland is, about, uh, is made up of uh, youth, uh, 25 years and younger. Uh, so it's a very, um, very approachable and very uh, energetic population that we'll be getting into. Uh, it is, uh, it has about, uh, it has ranked about 4% in the global ranking for education so far. Uh, about the top courses that you would see in Ireland um, amongst engineering and uh, management and various other uh, popular courses, um, Ireland has uh, shown uh, has has shown about uh, in the research scientific research uh, there are life sciences uh, which are very famous in the country of Ireland. You have uh, biotech, pharmacy, uh, which are really really famous. You have a lot of companies uh, in Ireland uh, such as Novartis, GlaxoSmithKline. Uh, you have um, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson which have their offices in Ireland. So it has a good scope for a lot of students who are looking for life science field. Uh, companies such as Accenture, Google, Facebook uh, have their offices again in uh, Ireland which makes Ireland a really good, uh, gives a good opportunity for a lot of students who are interested in software and IT uh, sort of courses. As well, uh, management including hospitality and hotel management, there are also, um, and our normal business courses of course, uh, finance, accounts, uh, HR, quite a few really good courses. You have PWC, you have Dropbox, you have uh, various other, you have uh, investment companies, banking companies, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch have their offices in Ireland, making it a very good prospect for students looking to study in that field. Uh, moving on, uh, we have seen that uh, about uh, in Ireland there is about 92% of uh, employment rate after you've graduated from school, which makes it a very um, very fascinating and an open community for a lot of students who are looking to study internationally, gaining a very good exposure in uh, in various fields. Um, of course, the fields that I mentioned are one of the top and popular courses. Various other courses in uh, software engineering as well as mechanical engineering, automobile also do exist. Humanities and other sciences also exist. In fact, Ireland, owing to its um, scientific research uh, uh, growth, has also shown uh, really good research opportunities for nanotechnology, chemistry, uh, material sciences and all of these fields, mathematics as well. Uh, moving on to the various uh, uh, expenses or uh, other than the courses, the expenses that a particular student might face uh, would range from anywhere from uh, for a master's course from about 12,000 euros going up to 15,000 euros. A master's course in Ireland is only for one year, 12 months. Uh, you get an opportunity to study, uh, gain a good uh, prospect of the job scenario at that time. Uh, and you have uh, an opportunity to also be a part of the uh, very vibrant culture over there. During your education, uh, you are allowed to work for 20 hours per week part-time during the course duration. You are allowed to work 40 hours per week during holidays, uh, during your uh, vacation period. And uh, Ireland has uh, shown about, uh, uh, has given you an opportunity of 24 months to stay back after your course duration. So uh, you complete your degree in a year, you stay back for about two years. Uh, so moving back to the point of expenses, you end up spending around 12,000 to 15,000 euros for your one year degree. And you have a stay back option of 24 months during which the annual average graduate salary is about 30,000, 35,000 euros, depending of course upon which field you're getting into. 
uh, your living expenses are about 10000 euros each year or lesser not more than 10000 uh, when you are when you are talking about visas you need to show an estimated expenditure of about 7000 to 10000 euros available with you which means the even the country accepts that it's not more than 10000 euros that you will end up spending so all in all it is one of the uh, really financially uh, you know um, it is a very good place to go and study with uh, at a very low cost as well and you get a really good uh, output from that so within one year students have been known to even if they have faced any situations where they require loans or uh, you know to take money from someone else uh, they've been able to receive uh, salaries at such a level that you can return whatever you've invested in about a duration of one to one and a half years and of course you gain a lot of skills you gain a lot of experience and an international exposure so uh, the types of uh, uh, the types of universities uh, of course there are a lot of there aren't a lot of universities if you see it's a really small country it's uh, but most of the universities have either an information technology institute of technology name added to it or it is a business school so they are all specialized in their own individual fields um, you have uh, the top universities that you i'm sure may have heard of are uh, trinity college dublin uh, there is um, a Dublin City University which has Murphy Business School, uh, Maynooth University, you have uh, NUI Galway and quite a few other universities. Uh, to get into the top tier universities in Ireland, the entry criteria are not that difficult. Remember for Ireland, you do not require a GRE, you do not require a GMAT. If you already have a score, although it can be a little helpful for the university to understand, it gives you a little bit of an advantage and the, the student can be well acknowledged and understood uh, by the university. So entry criteria is your aggregate score for a master's degree you require after 12th standard 12 plus 3 is absolutely fine which means your undergraduate degree of 3 years is absolutely acceptable in Ireland. Uh, you need to get um, somewhere around 60 to 65 percent at least at, as the least score in, uh, in most uh, decent to great universities. Higher the score, of course, the higher the chances of you getting into really top tier universities. Uh, you would, however, require uh, an English language proficiency test, something like an IELTS. Uh, about a score of seven, six point five to seven uh, overall should be really good enough for you to get in. Uh, although universities have uh, certain uh, stricter requirements or entry requirements, uh, quite a few universities also have a foundation pathway, which means. Um, for students who are either looking to shift or to gain skills into or a master's degree into a different field and have done a bachelor's in a different field, uh, they can choose to do a six month or a one, uh, one year uh, pathway or a foundation course which the university provides by themselves on their own campus. Uh, you can take up that. Even for students who have received a uh, lesser IELTS or TOEFL score, they can choose to take up uh, the foundational path which is going to teach you English language as well and uh, bring you up uh, at par with the amount of score that you would require for you to study in Ireland for a master's degree. Um, so it will just add certain number of months in your academic uh, schedule but it would be a good push or a good start for you to get in if you're looking to study in Ireland. Um, so to conclude guys, I uh, just to give you a snapshot of everything that I've said, Ireland has been growing it has actually grown. In fact, if you look at about 20 years ago, Ireland had almost only, for example, 50 companies for life sciences and pharmacy. Uh, as of today, it's about 300 uh, companies which are available, which means great opportunities to learn, great opportunities for research, great opportunities for employment. And uh, they have shown an economic growth of about 7.8%, which is one of the fastest in Europe. This was the, uh, the growth, economic growth in 2015 uh, and they have always been growing since then. It is a hub, uh, a good spot to start from to connect to all parts of Europe and uh, helps you to get into different parts of Europe if you're looking to uh, work somewhere else as well or to work in Ireland. Uh, uh, education cost and living cost will be somewhere around, uh, education cost somewhere within 15, 12 to 15,000 euros, living expenses about 10,000 euros or lesser. And your graduate annual graduate uh, average salary starts from 30,000 euros and above. 
so i hope i have been able to help you and uh, solve quite a few questions and uh, you know any queries that you may have about uh, considering ireland as a a destination for you to start studying in it is a good option for students who are looking to stay back after completing their education and um, obviously if you have any more queries feel free to contact us feel free to ask us at any of our uh, branches you can give us a call as well i hope it's been uh, helpful please uh, drop in any queries in your in the comments if you have anything and if you require or if you think of any other additional webinars or live seminars that uh, you would like to know from us please feel free to contact us or inform us about that we'll try to accommodate the best we can thank you very much